better. You're not bringing attention to yourself, so you're moving a little bit, but not too much. And gentlemen, we went back to skies. Did you hear it? Bump, blues, bones. Walk, I do. I want to see. Maryland State Boy yeah. Choir, we have about 150 boys. Yeah. Uh, obviously, they're not all on this trip, but uh, we tour five times during the year. We just returned with uh, 40 of our other guys from a European tour, and we're on a uh, what we're calling a New England Island tour. So Block Island, Nantucket Island, Peaks Island, uh, Long Beach Island, so all islands. That's the old boy choir tradition because the boys have the soprano and alto voice only so long before it changes. And obviously once the voice changes, they have the tenor bass voice. So the tradition is that you have to have the younger kids in order to have the higher voices. And for until about 150 years ago, um, only boys and men were allowed to sing in temples and churches I and at events, right? So it's a newer advent that women were allowed to sing as publicly, so. Well, is there a reason why you don't have women in this too? Uh, just, just the nature of uh, having a boy choir is it kind of makes it a, a guy's thing to do, enjoy each other's company. So often boys in arts and music and dance and theater is kind of shunned in American society. So this is a way guys can hang out together and feel like, you know, they're just average boys as opposed to feeling like they're kind of wimps or whatever, gotcha. off, marginalized. Now, so. does, because it's the Maryland State Boys Choir, does that mean there's a Massachusetts Boys Choir too? So most states have initiated a boy choir, not all have. Okay. Uh, there's a Boston Boy Choir, for instance. There is a uh, Boy Singers of Maine. Um, so most states these days seem to have a boy choir, uh, and they usually kind of go out as the goodwill ambassadors for that state, singing concert tours and things like that. So. Um, and you said you travel often. Travel quite a bit throughout the year. We're probably on the road about two months or so each year, and then lots of run-out concerts. So we do over 100 concerts each season. Gosh. Uh, with different groups, um, we break into different, you know, some groups are 15 voices. Some are all high school students. Some are all college students. Some are a mix of like this group here is today. So. And, and how about yourself? Uh, how were you, you involved in it? it? Were you in the boys' choir too? I did. I grew up in the boys' choir. In the same one? Same one. On 25th right. year, starting. Grew up as a kid and never left, so I've been took over uh, about three years ago um, full time as the artistic director. So. Right, right. And so, when do you when you compete? Do you compete? Sometimes we do. Uh, in, more often than not, we present concerts. Sometimes we'll sing in festivals or um, competitions or and things. And like did the kids come? You said that's the only requirement is that they have a, a fairly that's right, good voice. That's right. Right. They come they, from all over. Rehearse once. A, this group here rehearses once a week. Yeah. for two hours, and um, in that short amount of time, they have a tall order, learn a lot of music, and get ready to go on the road. So. Now, how long are you on the road for this trip? This tour is nine days. Our okay. previous tour we just got back from was 16 days. And you said you were in Europe? Uh, we had a group in Europe oh, in, July, group. in July. But not uh, Same organization, but a different group, about, uh, about 50 folk. That's amazing. So, keeps how, us busy. How was that, go that, that It was an incredible trip. We were in uh, the Netherlands, Belgium, France. Um, we were also in Germany and in Iceland and uh, sang in all kinds of great venues, old historic places. So it's a pretty incredible opportunity for these guys to see the world and sing in pretty profound places. So. Oh my gosh, that is terrific. Okay, well, so what's off after you're performing here? At the performing here tonight. Yeah, which people um, will probably miss if they're seeing this. That's right. We'll get but a touch. Hey, a touch. Maybe another time, yeah. Exactly. And uh, tomorrow we'll make our way to Portland, Maine. Yeah. And then Saturday we ferry over to um, uh, Peaks Island, Maine. Yeah. We'll sing a concert there on Saturday. And then Sunday we'll be in uh, Brunswick, Maine, before we head down to Boston. And we're singing at uh, Trinity Church Copley Square. So another great venue Sunday night. So oh, man. Busy, busy run around. And is this your full-time job? Full-time job. Full -time like job? most musicians have several of those, but yeah. Wow. Keeps us quite busy. Do, do, the, do the kids uh, have to, uh, the parents have to? Initiate and pay for something. Uh, like parents this? pay a tuition. There's a tuition. Um, students do fundraising. And, and obviously, have generous do you scholarships. This group is once a week. Uh, okay. Our once some of our other groups are twice a week, but it's basically once or twice a week. Yeah. All different schools and different communities, so no one's from, you know, we don't all attend the same place or something. Now, since you've been around for such a long time, I'm sure some of these voices have 
gone on to bigger and better things. You've Absolutely. Anybody that you that we know? That Probably not any names that would immediately stand out to you, but we've uh, had a couple Emmy award-winning composers that have gone on to write music for different TV shows and singers. And yeah, I mean, it's a little daunting when you think of the thousands of kids that have gone through. And obviously not all go into music full-time, but many do and uh, continue getting to sing throughout much of their life, even if it's just an avocation, enjoying singing. So. Thank you, Steve. Yeah, great to be with you all. Thanks for having us. So how old are you? Um, 13. 13. Have you been singing most of your life? Yeah, I've been, I've been in the choir for five years. Yeah, oh, that's right. Now, now so. most of the kids sing in the choir at church too, or no? Or you, do you go to church? I go to church, Yep. but I also sing here in yeah. the choir, so yeah. it's have you fun. Have you been traveling for a while too? Yeah, um, this is going to be my fourth tour. Oh my gosh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's really fun. Well, that's great. Well, listen, you sounded, oh, you guys sounded great. Thank you. A favorite style of music? Country. Oh, yeah. Do you think you might want to be a country singer one day? Yes. Cool. Is there someone that you really like that comes to mind? Um, no. You don't have a favorite one? No. You don't like Willie Nelson, do you? No. <laughs> you don't even know who he is, do you? He's an old country singer. He's an old country singer, that's right. All right, well, good luck, guys. Thank How about you. yourself? You sounded. Were you the guy singing the big bop in the back? Yes, sir. Sounded good. Thank you. Thank I was you. just uh, inquiring about who might go on and do more musical feats. I can see maybe you might have that in you. Yes, sir. I would love to. Yeah. So what's your? Where's your focus for? How old are you? Um, 21. You're 21. Okay. Yes, sir. So you're you're already out there. What do you do for a living? Um, at the moment I'm a student. Okay. Student in college. Yeah. I'm and not really studying music though, so it's you're not. It's, yeah, but I, I plan to do music for the rest of my life. So. Do you do you sing outside of of this? Yes, sir. You do. Yes, sir. And do, are you in a band or you do it solo? I do it solo. Oh yeah. Solo. What what kind of music? R and B. Um, yeah. You know, smooth, smooth. sounds and stuff I like that. I could feel it. Yes, sir. Sounded good, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, okay. Hey, you want to be on? How you doing? I'm good. All right. How now? How old are you? I'm 11. Okay. What's your name? Brian. Brian, do you, how do you like traveling? Let me start um, there. I enjoy it a lot. Yep. So when I first moved up to the concert choir, my mom and dad and I made a deal that anything that's not international, I go alone, and anything that is international, I have to have someone with me. Okay. Did you go on the international trip mm. that they went on? No. I did. You did? But my parents quit. Of but, course. Yeah. So are you okay being on, on your own? Oh what? yeah, I actually enjoy it a lot. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I did too when I was your age. I did a little solo traveling. So where's your musical focus? Um, what, what, what in music do you really appreciate? Solos. What kind of music though? When, oh, is there um, a certain style of music that you like? Classical. You like classical? Interesting. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth grade. So what do you see yourself doing in the future? Maybe when you get out of school. And Maybe a composer. Is that right? So you, you write music as well? Sometimes. Sometimes. Very cool. Well, thanks so much for talking with me. Mm-hmm. Yeah.